on this week's episode of Live Large. We're gonna hit the triceps, one of my weaker body parts, and uh, we're gonna be close for presses. Well, I'm just wondering what tip could you give me that I could manipulate in my prep that's worked for you? There's a party going on in my mouth right now. This is Vince Dalmani, I'm with Brian Canone here, and uh, he is the big dog, he's the guy who runs the Fitness Atlantic Championships. From a weak and scrawny skinny Vinny, to 210 pounds of solid muscle, Vince Del Monte is now living large, in and out of the gym, and so can you. We're gonna hit the triceps, one of my weaker body parts, and uh, we're gonna do close grip presses. Really, really good exercise. Uh, keep like for, um, when keeping your elbows in. We're gonna focus on going to full extension. See a lot of guys finish their tricep extensions like this. Function of the elbow is to lock out your elbow joint. So you really want to work with weights that allow you to lock out, and this is a really good one. So you want to really push yourself as high as possible. So, um, another good thing to do is to hold it at the top, statics. Create a lot of extra tension on your muscles. So, I do a lot of static training near the end prior to my show to really uh, recruit a lot of muscle fiber there. So, at the top, hold it for a second or two, lock it out. You'll feel your tricep start to shake. Welcome to Ask Vince. I know, that's not Flavia. Good thing. <laughs> so uh, this is my good friend Liam Mailer. He's all the way from the UK. He's only 21 years old, and uh, he's going to be um, asking me some questions specifically related to contest prep. Uh, we're here at the Fitness Atlantic Championships the night before the show, as you can see. And uh, Liam's traveled in to uh, support me, watch me uh, compete, and I know he's got a few questions for me that I know you're gonna, you guys are going to get some uh, benefit from. Hey guys, um, as you know, Vince. I'm competing in my first fitness model show in June in the UK, um, currently six weeks out. Mm -hmm. um, I've had my own trainer, the last four weeks are going to come in and what, I'm just wondering what tip could you give me that I could manipulate in my prep that's worked for you? Uh -huh, for sure, so for those who don't know, um, Liam started up at 217 so he was up at a pretty hefty amount of weight for his height, six foot one. and. Uh, so he's already, what, what have you come down to so far? 198 I'm um, just now. Okay, so he's come down um, 19 pounds. And uh, where's your coach want to bring you in at? Why don't you bring me about 190? One, so you're one, okay. I'm, I'm uh, kind of depleted right now. So what, are you, what was the first number? You came, 198. Um, you're 198, now, so you got yeah. eight pounds to go. Yeah. And man, when's yeah. the deadline? Uh, 4th of June. The 4th of June. Yeah. So he's way ahead of schedule in my opinion. So. The first lesson there is you've got a, you've given yourself a lot of time, which is really good. So you made one really good decision. The mental trick I want to share this week is called um, my help hurt rule, and um, it, to put it in context, it only works if you have a specific goal you're working towards. This isn't going to work if you're kind of just a recreational lifter and you're off and on. But because Liam is serious, he's five weeks out from a show. Um, He's got a specific deadline, he's got a specific weight he's striving for. Uh, the help hurt rule is very simple, it makes the decision making process a lot more quicker and um, less complicated. So anytime you're in a situation for the next five weeks, what you need to simply do is ask yourself, is this decision going to help me or hurt me? Is this decision going to move me closer to my goals or further from my goals? And that's what everything boils down to. I've used that rule in so many different situations when you're you know when you're asking should I get off the treadmill now and go home early should I go to bed at 10 30 or stay up and go for an extra and work for an extra few hours should I go to this restaurant the decisions already made ahead of time you know you're always trying to make more help decisions than hurt decisions and again this applies to every single aspect of your training and your prep your your meals um, your going to bedtime your supplements your um, how late you stay up how hard you push in the gym all of those things, you simply ask yourself, will this hurt me or help me? And um, 
the champions always have more helps than hurt decisions. Yep. So I think that's going to make the decision making process a lot quicker, a lot easier, and um, just comes down to that. And again, that help hurt rule doesn't work if you're not working towards a specific deadline. So I think that one's going to be really good for you and uh, for everyone who's going to apply it. Brilliant. Thanks, man. We're in Connecticut. Connecticut. So I want to know how to get six pack up. When you, you know, when you're in Milan, you gotta go to the high class restaurants. They got really very, very healthy menu. Do I eat chicken ball or do I eat a lot of stir fry rice? Mm. But it's just great. What a wonderful feeling. Hi, what's up? It's Vinny D here, and we're here in the hottest place in Connecticut. What's up? So we're like, what's up? So what's up? What's up? We're like in, uh, we're the sorry, what's, what's up? What's up? So we are in Connecticut this weekend at the Fitness Moto Championships, Fitness Atlantic USA. That's great. The national Championships, so great. And uh, listen, we wanted to talk to you guys about some very personal subjects, things that we're very passionate about, the three Fs, fitness, fashion. And photography, well, how can you forget about that? You're killing. Are these the quadrilaterals or the trapezoids? <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to get serious <laughs> now. But seriously, we are here, Fitness Atlantic Championships. So uh, me and Brock competed last night. This is your brand new pro fitness model be competing at the worlds august 27th and uh man he brought it he brought his a game and uh had a pretty decent showing myself and uh gonna make another run at it in uh two weeks from now so i can join him up on stage we're just having a little bit of fun we're gonna go shoot with jw burns he's one of the most well-known most well-respected photographers in our industry does a lot of crazy stuff all right man so you ready to do this or what i'm ready bro i, I mean uh, i've been working i've been training hard uh you know Concentrate on my abs. Yeah, and it's all about the six pack. You know how it is, fitness modeling. It's all about the six pack. Good job, Vince. Yeah, man. Good we'll job see you inside. We're gonna show you guys some footage of our JW shoot. But then after that, what we're gonna do is gonna get serious. I want to see the moods kind of go up and down and around. I want to see you serious. I want to see you happy. I want to see you like I'm gonna kick the fucking shit out of you. That kind of look. Okay, so. All right, ready? Let's get it. Hey guys, we're here with uh, JW Burns, and uh, he is one of the best photographers in the world. This guy's got more experience than uh, anybody else I know, and. Uh, this guy's got the tunes cranking, he's got the outfits out, he's got the lighting going on. So this is like real deal, man. This guy doesn't mess around. People wait for months to shoot with this guy. And uh, got lucky to get this room here. Fitness Atlantic Championships, JW Burns, he is the man. And if you're lucky to photo shoot with him one day, he's gonna make you look like a million bucks. Making Flavio look like 10.3 million dollars. 10.3 million dollars. I'm looking like I think 1.2 million right now. I don't know. 1.1 and 1.2. It's hard to say. What am I looking like? 1.2 million or 1.1 million right now? Maybe 1.1. I wouldn't go too drastic. Like this. <laughs> 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 he woke up one day and said, Look at what I found! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I took that pill, it worked! It worked! I took the cold implant, I took the acid berry, look what happened! Acid berry. <laughs> That's what I give the acid berry. We're just going for some really gritty pictures today. Just like super filthy. Super filthy. So how do you want to do this? Super gritty. 
just really bringing out some attitude. Just, I want the camera to capture so many different emotions, so many different colors that my, that I really embody. Nobody ever seen these colors I give to the camera. Today we do it all. Oh. You smiling or are we both smiling? Both smiling. Both smiling. Both smiling. Right, both smiling. I'll, I'll, I'll coordinate that. Ready, smile? Okay, no smile. Smile. Hey, what's up guys? We're in uh, New Haven here. The uh, show's all over with Brian Canone, Andre, Liam, King of Covers, Jason Ellis, my wife, and uh, hello. tell us what's going on here at Sally's Pizza. This is like well known, eh? We're on Worcester Street in New Haven, okay? This is the Little Italy of New Haven. Sally's is kind of more, this is it, okay? You wait in line to get in, we're staying outside. We're VIP. In the cold. We got like some high profile people here and we're all standing out in line. There's like no special treatment in here, baby. Cheers, everybody. Hey, cheers everyone. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Memorable night. Cheers. Yeah. It's a mix here. Yeah. Memorable yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. The reward is worth it. It's worth it. Oh. It's too hot. <laughs> I gotta edit that. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> There's a party going on in my mouth right now. Definitely mm -hmm. a party in my mouth right now. Um, this is like the most incredible experience I've ever had. I'm so excited for the next bite. I cannot wait to have the next bite. Mm. Oh, they're good guys. Hey, we're busy here. Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> This is what it's all about. Eating large, living large. Vince Del Monte. Scotland. My name is Monaco. One, two, three. We just uh, established that we uh, feel like we were in paradise. And that was uh, the most amazing experience ever. Best way to top off a weekend. Yeah, man. That was the most incredible pizza on my, on my entire life. Still got your abs, Vinny? I don't know. Want to see? Let's see what they're looking like after all that pizza. Uh, yeah, they are. They're still there? Yeah, man. They're still there. What's up, guys? It's Vince Dalmani. I'm with Brian Canone here, and uh, he is the big dog. He's the guy who runs the Fitness Atlantic Championships every year here in Connecticut. It was an honor for me to compete in his show this year. It's actually this guy's idea. He's like, Vinny, you got to come to my show. You got to come to my show. You'll be in the best shape of your life by mid April. And I'm like, He's right. I've never been in the best shape of my life by mid-April, and uh, here I am. So, um, what? Who shows up to these shows? You've got bikini, you got figure, you got bodybuilding. Are these like crazy obsessed fitness people? Or like, who's gets? Who are the people that get up on stage? Well, it's always a challenge actually to find people to do these competitions. You know, it's not really easy to get people to want to do shows. You know, so you have to talk to them and be like, you know. Um, it's about having a goal to achieve and what do you want to do. It's good to find somebody, the first timers are the people that I really like to cater to. They're, they just, they appreciate getting on stage. Mm -hmm. And you do have a lot of regulars that come back over and over again. Um, you see in this show too, there's a lot of people that through the years just return because they enjoy it. They enjoy every year just focusing on it. But the people that do it for the first time see such a change in their physique. Right, right. It, it's really dramatic and like getting your abs to come out, getting cuts in your legs, yeah. cuts in your back, that it just, they get more excited about it. That it's, it's, they're fun to work with. What can people expect to come to your show and uh, what's the day gonna look like for them? I wanna give people a great experience, uh -huh. you know? Um, when somebody comes to me and says, hey bro, I, I wanna do your show, but I wanna win. There are people that I, I just like, oh geez, well, if you don't win, you're not gonna be happy, so I don't right, have to right. please you. But I want the experience right. to be great. Right. The backstage, the lighting, the haze, uh, the, the production level. Right. Um, and the fact that there's a crowd. Yes. A lot of the shows don't have a crowd. I want, to me, the most up. important thing is a crowd of cheering people. Yeah, absolutely. That's huge, and I, I can speak to that as well, because uh, you really do need to come to these shows with no expectations and uh, just basically bring your best because uh, it's not like a running race where if you're side by side, 
and there's 100 meters to go. If you work a little harder on the home stretch, you might beat him and come fourth instead of fifth. These shows are completely different. You're competing against yourself. And uh, like Brian said, you really have to narrow in on your focus. The people who did really well today, all the athletes, they don't have any knowledge that the people watching don't have. The only difference is, is that they executed it and they probably executed it to a 90% compliancy, so there was very little air within the last 12, 15 weeks of the preparation. Any uh, final comments for uh, people who are kind of on the fence? They're like, I train, I've been training for four or five years, I look good. I don't know, sell me, Brian. Like, why should I compete? What will I get out of it? Well, there's a few factors. First, commit yourself to it and commit early. Yeah. Give yourself 12 to 16 weeks and commit early. Mm -hmm. You know. Pick a show to do that you like and send in your entry form. Mm -hmm. Now you know, listen, I'm locked in. Put some blood on the, yeah. Tell people you're doing it. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to be in this show on April 2012. And then you will want to go through with that. You don't want to, you don't want to let your go back down. on your yeah. word. No, you, know, you want to follow through on what uh -huh. you're doing. And so many people, honestly, a lot of competitors, uh -huh. they don't tell anybody. Yeah, it's and interesting. Then last minute, they show up at registration. It's pretty crazy. But the ones that do well are the ones that knew exactly what they were doing. And here's where it gets really raw here. I'm going to be, I'm going to be really real with you guys. So, you know, I put myself out there. Brian knows I have uh, online fitness business and I have over 120,000 readers. I have over 50,000 YouTube subscribers. I've, I've maxed out the Facebook thing years ago. I told a lot of people I was competing today and I can't tell you how many people text me this morning, oh, you're going to win, you're going to do great. And you know, they're, and it was like, you know, overwhelming. And then when you get your final result, sometimes you get disappointed because you feel like you let people down. Yeah. And I think a lot of people might not get on stage because they feel like if I don't win, I let people down. And that's a bunch of BS. That's right. not true. Like Brian said, you need to find your reasons for why you're competing. And if you win, that's icing on the cake. Uh, you know, I came here to get my pro card and you know, now I'm just even hungrier because I didn't get it and I'm going to gun for it again. But out of the entire experience, you know, I met a lot of great guys yeah. backstage. Yeah. Um, you know, I got my body into phenomenal shape. I'm photographing with three of those photographers that Brian recommended for me. Lee, Jason Ellis, and uh, yeah. uh, JW yeah. Burns. GW. And we're going to get some sick, sick photos. Yeah. And um, I hired a coach to get ready for this show. I learned a wealth of info for th yeah. through him. So the only, the person who benefited the most, by him setting up this show, I benefited. Even though I didn't go home without any hardware, I personally benefit. My life benefits. I inspire the people around me, and that's what counts. Well, what you're saying is your physique is your trophy. Your physique that, is your that's trophy. That's number one. You your know? physique and is your trophy. Nobody can take that away from me. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Tomorrow I still have those, you know? So uh, mid April next year at this time, uh, if you want to be in shape one to two months before spring or summertime, get down to Connecticut. This guy runs a first class, world class show and uh, you'll meet a lot of great people, you'll be you'll be the best shape of your life and you get to compete against, you get a claim that you compete with some of the best in the world. That's not, that's pretty cool. And um, you might get your pro card. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. On next week's episode of Live Large. So this is footage from the 21 day fast mass building program. You're watching me train with two of my training partners who helped me bulk up from 214 to 227. I'm just wondering what your take are on supplements this close to competition and if you believe they make a difference. Here with Liam Mailer, all the way from the UK, 21 years of age. You need to focus on your body. What do you need to bring out? Do you need to bring out your shoulders? Do you need to maybe quit hanging out with certain people in your life? So in this week of Live Large, I'm here with Carlos Rivera and uh, we both competed together at the Fitness Atlantic Championships. He uh, took home the crown in the light heavyweight show last night and I uh, was third place for the uh, fitness mod overall. Experience Live Large with Vince Del Monte next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern only on YouTube. Click subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Don't forget to show some love and click the like and share button.